So now that we've established what firstborn actually means in Colossians 1 23, how do we take that theological truth and apply it to our daily life? Or what's maybe, what's one way, Pastor, that knowing that Jesus is the firstborn of all creation, he's the firstborn among the dead ones, how has that changed the way that you live? Well, for sure, I no longer see myself as the one in control of my life. I, I must always make my decisions based upon what He wants for my life. And some of those things are clearly delineated in the Word, and some of them aren't. But I understand that I cannot be any longer the ruler of my life, that He really is the ruler of my life. And I want to do all things that would please Him as my as my Savior. How about you? Yeah, I mean, it's it's in a similar vein. I mean, as you go through, as I go through every aspect of life, I mean, we look at creation, we marvel at it, and we can be awestruck and amazed by beautiful scenery, by the mountains, by the ocean. Um, but it's always a great reminder that all these things are are, are minuscule in their beauty compared to who Jesus is. And beyond that, he's not just he's beautiful, but that he does have authority over everything, over all of creation, over over my life, especially as a believer, as one that he died for. Um, and so it's always it's always good for me to keep that in the forefront of my mind that that he is the one in authority and he does get to call the shots and that my life is ultimately to serve him. It's also a great reminder too that as as he is the firstborn among the dead, that there is that promised hope of eternal life. So that living for Christ isn't an empty pursuit that ends in a dead end, but it has eternal blessings and eternal benefits uh, that we get to look forward to. So it's always, always good to, to, re- to remember the fact that serving our Lord doesn't only have benefits in this life, but has benefits in, in the life to come as well. Yeah. And I do think that hitchhiking on what you said that he is the most important and the most beautiful I think sometimes when we think about dying and going to heaven a lot of times people think about rejoining their loved ones or seeing the golden streets or whatever we perceive of as heaven and almost forget the fact that the most important person that we'll see in heaven is Jesus and we'll meet the Father and we'll meet the Holy Spirit and we will have an opportunity to understand some things better. We'll never understand everything. We're still finite creatures, so we'll never understand infinite concepts. But heaven should draw us to uh, to itself because of who is there in the person of Jesus, not just in my loved ones. I mean, I look forward to seeing my loved ones, but the most important person I must be willing to admit to seeing is Jesus. Fanny Crosby wrote, wrote her one of her hymns and it said, my savior first of all. And that's, I think should be the, also a takeaway from the firstborn aspect of Jesus. Yeah, I couldn't agree with that. So if you're looking for some instruction in the book of Colossians and in life itself, we would love to have you come. Join us on a Sunday morning and uh, see what the book of Colossians has to say to us both theologically and practically. I think that would be, we would love to have you come. 